In addition to the panes that are part of the layout package, there are also a number of panes that are part of Java or scalafx.scene.control. And these panes are ones that are a bit more interactive with the user. And so in this video, we'd like to start looking at those panes. So I have a file here called control panes. And we want to start working with these. So the way that I picture this GUI working is at the top, we're going to start with a tab pane. So VI, oh, sorry, val tab pane equals new of tab pane. And the tab pane is a pane that allows you to have various tabs that the user can click on and when they click on them it shows them that view so basically you get multiple different kind of almost uh, windowing uh, areas multiple scenes that are inside of a single window in order to add a tab we would say val tab1 equals new tab the tab itself is just a type that is inside of control and in fact to make this happy I'm going to go ahead and do an import of everything inside of control the tab has a text value in it that you can set to be you know, whatever it is that that you want the tab to say so uh, split and accordion because I'm going to put those uh, panes inside of there uh, maybe on the other side let's create another tab val tab 2 equals new tab and then tab 2 dot text is equal to scroll as that's our our other significant um, pane that we have here. Okay, so we have some tabs, we have a tab pane, and now we would need to set the tabs in the uh, tab pane to the things that we have. So we can go look in the API. Remember, you can always go, if you aren't certain of how things are happening, go look in the API. I'm still down in layout there. But if we come up and we go to control, we can look in the tab pane and my money would be on the name tabs. So I'm going to scroll down to T here. And sure enough, tabs, we can set it to be a sequence. Uh, we could also increment into it because it's an observable list. And so I can do something like tab pane dot tabs equals the list of tab one tab two let's see what that looks like oh I know why that's not displaying I never put the tab pane into the scene once again because I'm using panes here I am going to set it to be the root and I'm not going to use the content. Content makes it easy to add lots of things, but they don't resize with the window, whereas this will make them resize with the window. So there we go. I have two tabs. They aren't very interesting because they both have nothing inside of them. Let's put something inside of them. I'm going to start with the second tab. And I'm just going to put a big text area that is actually, let's know. So I'm going to put a uh, and let's go with a let's try this so val uh, tiles equals new tile pane which is actually inside of layout And then I'm going to add a whole bunch of buttons to it. So for I 
die in one, two, um, sure, a hundred. <laughs> Tiles dot uh, children plus equals a new button button plus I. Okay, so we add a hundred buttons into this tile pane and then I want to make it so that the tab holds that. So tab two dot content equals the tiles. And tab two is uh, added to our tab pane there. Let's see if I have that. Oh, except I cannot type layout for some reason. That error is actually a good example of, okay. So here we have this, but I haven't made my scroll pane yet. So you can see that I have lots and lots of buttons, but they're too big for the window, which isn't surprising because I added 100 of them. So what I'm gonna do is instead of just adding the tiles directly to the tab, I am going to add the tiles inside of a scroll pane that holds them. Let's look in the API. I'm afraid that I cannot make the scroll pane directly that way. Scroll pane, yep. So I'm going to have to make the scroll pane and then set its contents. So we'll just call it scroll. Val scroll equals new scroll pane. Scroll dot content equals tiles. Let's see if that's happier. It's definitely happy enough to run. And here we go. So it automatically added a scroll bar for us because it was just too big. And if I make it so that it needs scroll bars in both directions, it'll automatically add those as well. So that's what the scroll pane does for us. So we've now seen the tab pane. And we'll come back next time and we'll look at the accordion and the split pane. And the accordion will actually use something called a titled pane as well.